Hello, YouTube model community. Phil here at Horton's Hot Rod Shop. Uh, got this one pretty well wrapped up. I've got a gas cap to put on yet. I still got to order my decals for it. Uh, but for the most part, it's wrapped up. Uh, pretty cool kit. Or model, actually. Get the hood to come off now. Uh, does just have the six cylinder motor in it. <clears throat> Pretty much stock. I didn't have all the dress, all the hot rod stuff for it when I got to this one. <clears throat> Originally, this was just going to be a panel truck left alone. Somebody mentioned on here that maybe I should do it as a Horton's Hot Rod Shop shop truck, and got thinking about it, and I agreed with it. So. Kind of what we're calling it, so that's why I'm waiting to have I'm gonna have decals made for it. Uh, been playing around with some of the material I got laying around here to be able to try to get my my arrows and stuff in there. I could do it that way, but they're not gonna come out as clean as having somebody make a set of decals for it. It'll look a lot better. Got my steering column all put in. Steering wheel is chrome with the red, clear red over it to simulate them clear colored steering wheels they had for a while. Right there. Uh, de chromed everything. Didn't want it all super shiny, high chrome. It's a shop truck. It's going to be driven. So the bumper on it got painted silver, titanium silver. The back bumper's titanium silver. <clears throat> The door handle and trim in the back is Maltol pin. Door handle on the side is Maltol. Windshield is Maltol pin. The chrome down the side of it and in front of the wheel wells, them are bare metal foil. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. That got done. It was going pretty good. And I went to do the back window and it pulled some of the paint off and around it goofed it all up so I had to go back in and redo that a little bit this resin sometimes hard to get paint to stick to <clears throat> uh, got the chassis all painted up I still gotta put the exhaust on it come to think about it I forgot about that so now I gotta dig out the exhaust for it put that on so I guess it ain't close to being done. This is just an update video. <clears throat> uh, windows are in. Had a good fit in the front window, and I goofed it up a little bit. Cleaned it up the best I could. It don't look too bad. It looks like it's been driven. Uh, the gas are still sitting on the bench. Got the paint on the body, all the racing whites on it. Got the license plate yet, I gotta put on that one too. <clears throat> A little piece of chrome that I'll have left of the grill when I'm done for this one. And that's pretty much it. I bought a few things around lately. Got a second time shooting this video, so. Got to watch my time better. Got some decals out of a box of stuff I bought at an antiques place. Uh, don't know what they came off. I got two of them set to sheets there. Not this one. It's really cool. Little Menace. Another AMT. Uh, only number I can find on this one if I can even get the focus on it. 84 Trophy Junior set Pretty cool <clears throat> Another set I got that's pretty cool A lot of these have Gene Winfield on them And the Alexander Brothers on the, the first one Along with some Barris logos This one's got the old Carcraft magazine Logos on it Along with some M&H Slicks decals that are cool. Now this one 
<clears throat> might appeal more to like old Tom. Uh, with the big moon eyes. It's got the Gene Winfield decals on it. I'm not sure who else the other one is. I know there's an Alexander brother on there down at the bottom. Right there. Uh, It's a pretty cool set. And there's a big set that has, you know, Grand National Roadster Show decals in it. Poetry in Motion. Green Green. I have no idea what that one is. Uh, Royal Customs. Rod and Custom Magazine logos. Uh, Bill Cush Cushberry. Decals, Gene Jeff, Dean Jeffries logo. Apparently, that's the other one. I didn't know what it was. Uh, George Barris decals and logos on it. It's got placards for the show. You know, hardtop division, historical custom auto fair logos, Road Knights Car sh Club logo pretty cool so i kind of like that kind of stuff so and i also picked up a <clears throat> few old bears boxes uh one for 65 riviera i've got one already but my box is in bad shape and a 66 riviera that my box was in bad shape in that thing for just a few bucks Couple bucks more. I bought a '68 Palmer kit. Car was already built. I didn't really give a whole lot for it. I bought it because I like the box art on this one. I think that is really cool. Palmer's got some of the well, some of the coolest box art for the cars that kind of suck, as far as the models go. So I picked up a bunch of stuff from Tony Lancer. The other day, uh, got this one. Huge box, 55 Chevy Bel Air, 125th scale. Uh, looks to be all there, complete. It's a really nice kit. It's molded in like three different colors. So, <clears throat> all right, guys, I want to say thank you to all, all to all my subscribers. Uh, Getting up there a little bit more. My videos most time are only gonna last about 10 minutes. My phone shuts down after that and makes me restart it anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll give a shout out there to Paul Rogers over there at Styrene Relics. He's been going through some stuff. He's home now. So, give him some time to get feeling better and then I'll go over and see him. Maybe I'll even do a take my camera along or my phone along with me and sit down, talk with him on camera or something. Talk some models. Not what's going on, but models. Keep his mind on things other than the bad stuff that he might be going through. You know, sometimes you just don't want to get into when you're not, something when you're not feeling good. So I understand that. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and call this one done. You guys have a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed the Jack, Jack's Con show this year. Be looking forward to the videos. Have a good one, guys.